In this video, we look at the features of a business account on the example of selling advertising in Telegram channels. A business account is a feature that allows you to connect a third-party bot to process messages. But first, we need to create a Telegram bot and connect it to the PuzzleBot service. Detailed instructions on how to create a bot can be found at the link in the description. The ability to connect a chatbot to your account is available in the Telegram business subscription. At the moment of recording the video, the subscription is included in Telegram Premium. First of all, let's connect the chatbot to your account and to the PuzzleBot account. To do this, let's go to Telegram. In the search bar, find bot father. and launch it. Enter or select the comment My Bots from the list. Select the desired bot. Then go to its settings. Choose the parameter Business Mode and turn it on. Great, the Business Mode is activated. Copy the link to the bot, it will be needed in the next step. Now let's connect a bot to the account, which will automatically process incoming messages and respond to them. To do this, let's go to the settings of our account. Select the Telegram Business option. Click on the tab with chatbots. Let's insert the link or username of the bot. Be sure to activate replies to messages, so that the bot can reply to messages on our behalf. Let's go to our personal account and select our bot. We have a notification about adding a new resource. Let's add our business account and we'll go into it. Great, we've connected the bot to the business account and added it to the personal cabinet. Please note that unlike other resource, the business account has a new parameter – disabled. The bot can reply to those users from whom it received a message or to whom you wrote directly in Telegram within 24 hours. If 24 hours have passed since your last message or user's message, the bot will not be able to have a dialogue with him until a new message is sent by a Telegram. This is how Telegram fights spam messages. Let's set up a chat bot in business account. Let's go to the constructor tab. Here, as in a regular bot, we can create various comments. Let's create a comment that will accept requests for advertising through input forms. To do this, let's go to the start comment. Important! The start comment is set at the first contact with the business account. You can customize the sending of another comment through the events tab. We already have a text block with a greeting. Let's edit it. Let's add a block input form and write our question. Then let's enter a name for the statistics. In the input tab, we'll list selecting an option and specify, for example, several channels in which we'll sell advertising. Let's add another input form that will ask for the desired advertising date. And we'll write our question. Let's enter a title for the statistics. In the input tab, we'll choose calendar. Let's disable the selection of dates from the past. We will also add a text block. 
and write that we will contact the user soon. We can also set up a trigger to send the price for advertising. To do this, select the Trigger tab. Click on the Add Trigger button. Let's expand it. In the Condition tab, select Message Contains. Let's add the necessary phrases to which the bot will send our comment. And let's type in the advertising prices. Let's go to Telecom and check the work of the bot. On the right is the client's account and on the left is the account of the bot owner. Let's send a welcome message. And leave a request for advertising. Let's fill out the input forms. Great! We've received a notification that the form has been filled out. Also, any administrator can respond on behalf of the bot owner through the dialog tab. Let's check the work of the trigger. Great, everything works correctly. You can also stop the bot. Or disable it completely in a particular dialog by clicking on the corresponding icon in the settings. To return the bot to the dialog, you need to go to the account settings. Let's choose Telegram for business, then choose Chatbots. Here we can remove the user from the exceptions and also choose the chats in which the bot will answer for us. So we have considered the possibilities of a business account on the example of selling advertising in Telegram channels.